Good morning, Saint Teresa's family. Happy Monday. The uh, book selection this morning is Eyes on the Sparrow from the Sister Pack 2 soundtrack. Sung by Tanya Blunt. Enjoy uh, the beautiful reminder of how much God loves us and cares for us. And I'll be back in a few minutes to lead us in morning prayer. Thank you. When Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he. His eye is on the sand. And I know he watches over me. His eye is on the spell. And I know he watches. I see because of happy. I see because of free. And I know he watches me, he watches me. His eye is on the spot. And I know he watches, I know he watches. Beautiful song, beautiful reminder um, that God's eye is on all of us. God is good and all the time. Good morning, St. Therese family. Happy Monday to all of you. Happy Easter and happy 33rd week of school. Uh, it's hard to believe um, that we are very much nearing this final stretch of, of our time in this 2019-20 school year. Um, albeit apart for these uh, past uh, seven weeks now. So uh, we look forward to um, a wonderful week of learning and growing and a lot of exciting things happening. We have our auction going on now, um, inviting people to support our school with uh, purchasing and, and making donations on many of the items um, that our families brought to us. Um, and so 
remind folks, spread the word. It is free for all to bid online. So you'll be seeing those on social media via email throughout the week. Um, but before we jump to the auction, which will conclude on Friday night, um, we will start with a, a saint for today who's a good reminder to all of us uh, to be missionaries where we are and live out our SLE for this week. Um, so our saint for today, you may have looked this up, is St. Francis de Girolamo. Uh, St. Francis was uh, new early on uh, his call to be a priest, to serve God's people. And he really felt called to be a, a missionary. Um, perhaps being the oldest of 12 children, he just wanted to get far away from home um, with all of the little siblings that he had. Um, but nonetheless, um, after receiving his first communion, um, uh, he went to live with a group of priests and they saw from that young age um, at 12 that, that he had some special gifts and talents to share. And so eventually he was ordained a priest, uh, joined the Jesuit order and began teaching at the university level. Um, he felt that call to, to be a missionary, did a little bit of it, um, but then was brought back to Naples, Italy and um, served the church there. Um, he was an inspiring preacher, a great teacher and people who heard him speak or preach felt moved to conversion, to be holier, to be better. And so um, he was known mainly for, for preaching to groups of people and have, changing their hearts, having them change their ways and their lives. Um, he really felt that call to go and spread the news to the ends of the earth, wanted to go to Japan where a lot of missionaries are being martyred. Um, but he was told no, and he needed to stay um, in Naples. And so he made the most as a missionary in his hometown, if you will, and um, was a great example of perseverance in that. There's many uh, interesting stories about people he converted, um, including someone, a woman who uh, committed a murder and then dressed as a man and moved to a new country and joined the army to try to hide from her past. But his preaching uh, reminded her uh, that God sees us like God sees um, the sparrow. Um, God's watching over us and, and is open for us to change. And so as we go about our days this week, um, we're called to be responsible and community and compassionate community members who I want to make sure I have the language exactly right. Um, who acknowledge and appreciate the uniqueness and dignity of all people. And so I think St. Francis did this in his preaching, and uh, we are all called to acknowledge um, and appreciate the uniqueness of all of us. Our first group belief, we are a diverse community, reminds us that every individual matters, all lives matter. And it is our job to stand up um, for life and for others when people, systems, society is saying that they don't matter. Um, unfortunately, we have another incident in the news that um, occurred months ago, but has been, been making headway in, in the last week as videos have been released. And so we pray for the family of um, Ahmaud Arbery and um, the situation that occurred down in Georgia um, Let's make sure that uh, in as much as we're able in the other corner of the country, that we stand in solidarity, um, that we stand up for justice and acknowledge um, the uniqueness and dignity of that individual and all those who've lost their lives um, for completely unnecessary reasons. So we hold that up in prayer today as we begin our day and our week together in prayer. In nome du Pai, du Filio, Spiritus Santi. Amen. Good morning, dear Jesus. This day is for you. We ask you to bless all we think, say, and do. We love you, God. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with us. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Do you want to pray with us? I, I know where it is. I am only one, but I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. What I can do, I ought to do, and what I ought to do, I will do. By the grace of God. Amen. And we'll offer our extra Hail Mary today um, for Ahmad Arbery and the whole situation in Georgia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. I know we do pi, do filio, spirit is sound too. Amen. Sorry for the extracurriculars during prayer. Um, there's some some disagreement among children in my household. Um, with that said, um, remembering to stand up for justice, let's hold the flags high with the right hands of our hearts and say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So a round of applause to all the flag bearers out there today. And uh, one more week, we'll close it out with a poem. Um, I mentioned we have the auction at the conclusion of this week. It's uh, ongoing bidding now on the smaller items. Um, we also have um, the compilation of our poetry slam that will be shared on Friday. And so students uh, look forward to crashing some poetry sharing um, this week in your classes. Um, if you're proud of, of your work, uh, please feel free to share it with me. Send me a link on Hangouts. Um, and I'll look forward to, to reading those. Um, would much rather prefer to listen and, and see you perform it as well, to hear your voices. Um, it was great to see so many on Friday. Um, for my our selection today, I, I went with a oldie but goodie, very short uh, poem here that uh, was written by um, the late Tupac Shakur. Um, sure many of you have heard it before. It's simply called uh, The Rose That Grew From Concrete. Um, Tupac wrote many poems in addition to, to his his music. Did you hear about the rose that grew from a crack in the concrete? Proving nature's laws wrong, it learned to walk without having feet. Funny it seems to by keeping, funny it seems to by keeping its dreams, it learned to breathe fresh air. Long live the rose that grew from concrete when no one else even cared. Inspired by the opening song and the poetry of Tupac there, um, look at the miracles around you today. Look at the opportunities to be missionaries in your home, in your neighborhood, in our world. Um, appreciate the uniqueness of everybody you encounter. And let's pray for those and lift those up um, whose uniqueness and dignity is not being honored um, in any way today. Have a blessed Monday, a great 33rd week of school. Um, work on those poems. And remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Have a blessed Monday, St. Therese family.